Hi everybody, George Donnelly here. I wrote a blog post earlier this week, uh, you know, after the story about uh, prisoners in um, Phoenix, Arizona, in, uh, G you know, the infamous Joe Arpaio and his 10-city concentration camp being subjected to 145 degree Fahrenheit um, conditions, saying that you should send me there to work on this issue because this is torture. But it's simply unacceptable to treat other human beings like this. Wouldn't even treat, you know, even treating animals like this would simply be out of the question for any reasonable human being. So, um, you know, I said that if I got an offer of lodging for myself and my family, that uh, I might go and work on this. And just because it's so outrageous. Uh, and I did get that offer, and I thank the person uh, that made it. And it was, I, I would love to take the person up on that offer, uh, except, you know, after thinking about it a little bit more, I'm not really ready. I could go there, jump right in. I could use up a month uh, of this person's, uh, you know, welcome mat and, uh, you know, maybe even some people contribute some money for some of the projects. Uh, and, and I might not just not have an impact because I, I don't know a whole lot about this issue. There are a lot of people who have been working on this issue. Arpaio has been in power for 19 years now. And um, the more I get into it, the more people I find who who have you know written about it and talked about it and protested about it. And so I need, I need to get up to speed on this before I go in order to be effective, in order to really um, you know honor the support that uh, you guys are offering to me. Uh, and in any case, you know, even though we have a car, we have a great car, we could drive there tomorrow. Um, you know, my son, my five-year-old son, um, you know, we're just all tired after being in Philadelphia here, closing up our, our, our house here, pork fest and all that. So, uh, we were planning to come back in six months anyway. So we're just going to make that trip to Phoenix. So I'm thinking January, 2012. You know, let's let let's let's prepare. I want to work with you. I want to figure out a really great plan. And for Agra IO, the the online Liberty Young Conference, which is the next one, is September twenty third to the twenty fifth at Agra.io. That's the website address. I want to have a series of talks around this topic of what's going on with our pile. What's the background here? You know, the the undocumented uh, immigrant issue is really uh, big there. You know, what's going on? Let's all become experts on this topic. And, and, and the larger prison issue, for example, these hunger strikes that are going on in Pelican Bay and elsewhere. It's not just in, in, in Phoenix that people are being treated like dirt. Um, so I want to get up to all speed on that. I want to spend a lot of time planning, you know, writing a pamphlet, um, preparing videos perhaps, a website. I don't know. I just want to be really prepared so when we go to Phoenix in a, in six months January you know let's dedicate the month of January to this let's put some extreme heat on our pile and his henchmen there in the month of January just non-stop and you know if you can travel that month even for a few days l let's do it you know we'll make good use of your time you know if you can donate some money let, why don't you start setting that aside? Because we, we can use that to print pamphlets. Um, we can use that. Maybe we can run a commercial on local TV. I don't know. Everything is open here. And let's think about what could this culminate in? This month of heat on our Pio's ovens, you know, or I don't know. We've got to come up with a good name. But, um, you know, I saw, I found a guy on Fredbook, Facebook friended me. Uh, he was in Arpaio's prison, and he described the horrific conditions there, at his concentration camp, really. And he said that he asked the guard, how could this stuff go on here? And the guard said, because the world doesn't know what is really happening here. Okay, well, we have to make sure that problem is fixed. So let's think about how this can culminate at the end of January 2012. Maybe it's a thousand, maybe it's ten thousand, maybe it's one hundred thousand people. We get outside that concentration camp to say, "Hey, this is unacceptable. We're not going to stand for it, 
and let the world know what is going on here, that people, human beings, whether they've made mistakes, whether they hurt people or not, are still human beings. And it's not they who are judged by their treatment here, but it's we who are judged. We who are judged by how they're being treated. Because there, there are brothers and sisters. Anyway, it could culminate in a huge protest, rally, vigil, civil disobedience, whatever you want to call it, at the end of January 2012. So let's get ready for that. Let's make something big happen here. Because not only could it mean something for them, but it could mean something for the Liberty message. Not only can we get uh, memes like Ron Paul involved here, but we can also get memes like uh, alternative dispute resolution, uh, free market justice, you name it. So, George Donnelly signing off. Please, I'd really love to work with you on this. Uh, you can visit my website, George Donnelly, D O N N E L L Y dot com, or agora.io. Be a part of the, the next Liberty on Conference, September 23rd to the 25th.